Hi, this is Shana and this is the weekly update. So we're going to take a look into the energy surrounding you this week and then you also get a love message. And for that you just choose one of these piles. Uh, we have here three to choose from. We have pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. So take your time to choose a pile and I will see you in a couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading here with this adventuring stone. So we're putting it here to the side. And first we're going to check the tarot cards and then we'll see the uh, oracle cards. Then we'll get you the love message. So first of all, we have here the two of wands, uh, sorry, the two of pentacles, find balance. Having here a little bit of trouble focusing the cards. Let's not see. Then we have number four, the Emperor. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. We have giving and receiving. So there you go. Perfect. Now, this is a week where you'll, you'll be really, really busy here with the uh, Two of Pentacles. There's a lot going on. There's, uh, you really have to set, uh, I was going to say boundaries, but actually what I wanted to say is priorities. But maybe in, for some of you, boundaries will also be a theme here, you know, like knowing when to say no knowing to set your boundaries, knowing how to be your own boss, you know, and uh, defend your interests and, you know, and put the, the foot down if you have to. And I also have the feeling that um, if you work for a big company, because here the emperor can also symbolize uh, like a corporate company, like a really big company. Uh, if you work for such a company, it could be that there's a lot of changes going on there's a lot of um, even I, I'm having the sense of fear not that you are afraid but it could be that some of your colleagues are afraid and it's like now they're reaching a hand um, there's like there's some alliances that want to be or to become stronger or there's more of networking so there's a lot going on around you right and it's in your private life, it's in your work life, things are changing and just like you have to make decisions really quick. And, um, but the thing is, is, is actually it's quite positive, even if it uh, seems a bit confusing, but it is positive because you're becoming your own master, so to say. Some of you, you probably are um, self-employed, but you're becoming your own person. This sounds strange, I'm sorry, but it's like becoming more empowered, becoming stronger, becoming more assertive, saying what you want, saying things, you know, calling things by name and being also very uh, business savvy, you know, being very clever, uh, knowing how to... Um, yeah, strategize. It's not not being fake, not being false in any way. Because we have here the, the six of... Um, oh, I'm also getting that as well. The six of pentacles. Uh, so the six of pentacles is like finding a balance, right? And actually reaching out for synergies and trying to get people working together. But because it's the six of pentacles... Uh, we're approaching the end of the month, so maybe you're getting your, you know, like your check and you're getting money. And, uh, and I think it's going to be a very good sum for many of you because um, you're going to be able to um, balance your, uh, your finances. So this week there's money coming in enough to balance your finances to you know to be on top of your game again 
Let's see what the Oracle cards have to say. We have number seven, community. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, so community. And we have number 52, which five and two is a seven, funnily enough. And we have goddess of the moon. So yesterday, uh, it was Sunday, and uh, we had that full moon in Capricorn. So again, has to do with work, with finances, resources. And that here with this card, it can be that something is amplifying, something is becoming bigger in your life, but it could also be you're becoming more self-assured. You're becoming more, like I said, empowered. You're more self-confident. And here with community, so this week, your friends will play uh, an important role. And like I said, like with these al um, ally alliances in being forged and becoming stronger. So, so it also is um, not only at work, but also in your private life where you, you know, like you get in touch with probably old friends or you're being asked out. And again, there's a lot of going on. So you have your work, you have your private life. And there are many things... Um, working right now there's just a lot of things happening which is great and you just have to you know set your priorities but also see here like with the community you have a community to fall back on meaning like you, you have people that support you you are, have people that are ready to help you you have people that have your best interest in mind and it's like this week is going to be amplified you're going to feel it even more and you also have a very strong intuition this week. And that's why I was getting this strategizing. It's like you have the gift. Probably you already have it already, but this week is going to become stronger. And you can see behind words. You can see behind appearances. You can see behind the facade. You can see what people really mean. And this is actually going to be to your best advantage because you can make decisions with clearer information if you know what I mean. Now, the last card, see if we can read it together. We have, yeah, but it's not really focusing. I'm sorry for that. It's serious. Oh, this is in German, yeah. Sternen, Segnung, ja, weiter so, zeige dich Durchsetzungskraft. So it means um, the blessings of the star, serious. It says, yes, keep on going, uh, show yourself, and uh, assertiveness so this has a lot to do with the with the emperor as well so you're really strong this week you're not afraid to speak your mind and uh, you like it's really telling you you're on the right track you're doing the right thing so if there was a decision especially here with the two of um Pentacles, if there was a decision you, you need to make, if there was something, you know, you weren't sure of, this week you're going to be very clear, you're going to be very sure. And this is really the, the confirmation that you're on the right track, you're doing the right thing. So it's like you're going to have a lot of insights this week that are going to boost your ego in a positive way. They're going to confirm you know, what you've been doing. They have, you're going to confirm your hunches, going to confirm, um, yeah, your life's direction. It's like telling you you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing. It's just really, really positive. So let's get you then a love message. Sorry, the deck is still in the box. There you go going to use my deck today i'm just going to take three cards from the deck and uh, let's see for pile number one what are the love messages for pile number one okay we already have two cards this is interesting the first one here we have the devil you know and we have the card ever unfolding let's get you one more card 
Just a second. One more card. So there you go. File number one. What are the love energy? Okay. And we have struck by lightning. This is interesting. This can go in different ways. So there's something here with uh, someone that you know, someone from your past. It's the devil you know. It's what you're used to. Oh, I see. With all these three cards together, what I'm getting is like you breaking free. Breaking free from old patterns. Breaking free from you know, your modus uh, uh, operandi, you know, like the way you operate, you're, you're changing. When it comes to love, you're changing. And it could be that an old flame comes along and maybe you get a message from an old flame out of nowhere. So this could go both ways. It can be that you say, no, I don't want this. It's like, <laughs> you cut it like the tower. Or it's like, because it comes out of nowhere, you kind of give it a chance you know, because there's past, there's history here, and you let it unfold. So you could unfold in a very different direction. Let's see what's bottom of the deck. I didn't check. But we have oh, secret admirer. That's so sweet. I wish you could see it prop. Yeah, secret admirer. So this is someone that really likes you. Someone that probably, it's someone from your past. For many of you, it will be someone from your past. And someone who really likes you, maybe in secret, Maybe they never told you how they feel. And I think something's going to happen here. They either send you a message or they get in contact with you in some way. And it's going to come kind of out of the blue. And um, yeah, you know, this reminds me of the Six of Cups. This card is called First Kiss. And uh, so you had history with this person. And... Uh, and it couldn't fold into something new and beautiful, or you just cut this person out of your life completely. So it can go both ways. It's actually up to you. And of course, this is a general reading, so take it as it makes sense to you. And pile number one, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it makes sense to you. And um, I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading here with the aquamarine stone. Really beautiful. Now, what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number two. We're going to start with the tarot cards and then we'll move on to the oracle cards. And then you also get a love message. So first of all, speaking of love, we have the heart chakra. I know the camera. It's not focusing very well. I think it has to do with the lighting. Next time we'll get better lighting. Then we have the Four of Cups. And then we have the Three of Cups. So the Four of Cups is saying opportunity beckons and share the love. So this is quite interesting. Because what I see here is healing. Now, this could be actual healing. Okay, all healing is actual. But what I mean is like from an actual disease, you know, but it's something minor, you know. But I see here like healing, recovering, and then getting ready to, you know, go out and party, so to say. But um, I think for most of you, uh, since it's a cups suit, this will be like very emotional, right? So it, this could be emotional healing. And, and it's like I get like the message like do it from the heart, you know. And it could be that you're in a situation where you probably don't want to see anyone. You're just more, you know, closed off. Um, there's some disappointment here. But there's also a feeling of boredom. The Four of Cups is very often like boredom, you know, not being persuaded um, by anything or anyone. It's like when nothing really 
makes your heart sing when everything seems the <laughs> you know and and maybe you're starting off the week like that it's like oh nothing good ever happens or there's nothing exciting to do or i'm so bored or i've watched all the films i've watched all the series and everything is so predictable and boring and blah blah so it could be that you're in this kind of mood, which is okay. You, you know, you're allowed to be in it. But what I see here is like there's so much love, so much understanding, so much compassion coming your way. And it's like you're getting rid, uh, getting rid of like some weight, some emotional weight. And here with opportunity beckons, it's like when you're bored and you think like, ah, I don't want to do anything with anyone, any, you know, like ever again. It's like suddenly you probably get an invitation to a party and things turn around. And all this situation of being bored, of being like, uh, you know, just eh, dissatisfied with the world and life at large. Then suddenly it just goes, wow, and you meet the right people or you're going out with the right people and they like touch a nerve and probably they kind of give you the right ideas and they inspire you and you're full of enthusiasm. So by the, the end of the week, like next weekend, you're on fire and you're having fun and you're meeting the right people and it's, it's a really good vibe. But, you know, it could be that in the middle of the week there's something here that's I think something is annoying you, you know, something is annoying you and there's something here that makes you or gives you the feeling that everything bleh. <laughs> and it's okay, it's normal, you know, if we have something that annoys us, but I see this healing, I see this changing completely. Now, then we have here the card Hostilities. And it's number 20 something, 26. Yeah, hostilities. And then we have number 12, the temple path. And you know, with hostilities, this may be the case, you know, like right now. Maybe you may be angry with some friends, or some friends are angry at you, or maybe there were some disagreements or there was a disagreement with someone specific it may even been have been in the past whatever it is there's some grievance there still which makes you feel like that like pff, everything is so overrated and boring and bleh. and but here with the temple path it's like there is a way out of it and you getting out of it and it's also here follow your own path you know, because one thing with the, the Four of Cups is like is seeing certain um, choices, but none of them is really you. None of them is alluring. None of them um, really starts your fire, so to say. And, and then it's like, do your own thing. You know, instead of getting mad with the world or with, the, with yourself, because this could even be being mad at yourself. So... Just do your own thing. What do you want to do? You know, what is it that you need? What is, is it that you're craving? Call it by name and go after it and do it, you know? And I see, like I said, at the end of the week, at the end of this week, you're really like turning it around. You're turning it this like more negative feelings into something really positive. It's like some of you may even working this, this uh, phase um, in a creative way. You know, you probably write a song about it. You paint something, you write a poem, you, you dance it away. You do it, you do it in a very, very creative way in order to, you know, get rid of this energy. Let's see if I can get it more. There you go, it's a bit better. Um, but you're doing something because with these hostilities, I'm getting also this uh, Aries energy. So he's wanting to do something and probably, oh, okay. So what this could also be, this pent up energy, wanting to do stuff, wanting to have fun, wanting to meet people and some reason you're not able to. And this, you know, really 
it can make you angry because this energy, you know, maybe you just need to dance, you know, to go out and dance and set this energy free in a positive and fun way. Hmm. Interesting. The last card here is, okay, it's in German. So it's activation of the Pleiades or Pleiades activation and coming together, higher harmony solution. Wow. So it's really, you know, confirming what we had so far. So this is the play, the activation. So it's really healing a disharmony, healing some grievances, healing some misunderstandings. Um, and you're going to do it this week, okay? You're going the distance here with the, the temple path. You're going the distance and you're going to clear this. You're stepping out of this energy and there is a solution here. So there will be a solution here. So maybe you're saying, well, I'm not saying I'm sorry first, for instance, it could be a, one of the cases for you. Uh, you don't want to lose face. Well, here with the Pleiadian <laughs> activation, um, it's like you'll find a solution that's okay for everyone and no one has to lose face and you can speak openly to one another. So this is a lot of healing, a lot of harmony, a lot of love coming through, a lot of compassion and understanding for yourself and for others and the others for you too. This is really, wow, this is something. Power number two. Now let's get you a love reading. So let's see, I'm using my cards this time. I'll just get three cards from my deck. So for pile number two, what are the love energies this week? We have the first one, stuck in the past. Well, like I said, could be old grievances. But let's see what the cards have to say. What else? For pile number two. So... What else do we have? Ah, there you go. So we have wish you were here. So you're missing someone or someone is missing you or you're missing one another. And what else for pile number two this week? What are the love energies for pile number two this week? Strong foundation. And bottom of the deck is into the unknown so interesting here because it's really like time for you to step into the unknown because the cards are saying you've been stuck in the past and wishing on someone wishing you know that things were like they were before or you know dreaming about the past whatever the case you know it's like you're pining here over someone or a situation and it's okay it can happen to all of us and it happens to most of us but you know you have a strong foundation with this person well whoever this person is there's already a strong foundation there in case you're wondering the foundation is there but the feeling that i get is that it's time to let it go in the sense you know it either develops or it withers but holding on to it you know for a dear life won't let it flow in any way so you're not winning here so in order to 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 allow it to develop you have to trust on this um in this strong foundation right and i also get the feeling you know develop the foundation with the ones that are around you right now it doesn't have you have to have a love relationship with them but especially with friends like they're the three of cups you know go out again develop and deepen those connections because friends are there forever some of them come and go but it's okay but there are those who are there forever and you need that network we all need our own networks to survive. So, okay, it could be one friend, it could be two friends, it could be 100, it doesn't matter. It means just we all need that. So it's time to step, step out, <laughs> to go out and live a little and have fun and allow this pent-up energy to flow again so it can develop. 
And I think this other person is also thinking about you. But there's something there that has to be corrected. You know, it has to be with more harmony. There's something there. Someone has to apologize, I have the feeling. But there is really a strong foundation there. It will happen. But now just let the energy flow as much as you can, of course, you know. And yeah, this is the message I have for you, pile number two. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading here with the turkey stone. You know, I'm not like able to focus it. I'm sorry. Today with the light, it's not optimal. It's not ideal. So what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number three. Now, we're starting with the tarot cards, then we'll continue with the oracle cards, and then we also have a love message. The first one is the Five of Pentacles, but in reverse. I usually don't do many reverses, but when they come out, I usually take them. And then we have the Two of Wands. And then we have, oh, and here it says... Uh, Spread your wings. This one is feeling alone. Exactly. And then we have the nine of swords, darkest fears. There you go. This is very, very interesting. The first message that I'm getting here is really time for you to face your fears. The moment you face your fears, you will grow. It's like going to be kind of automatic. But there's like, hmm, trying here to get more. I'm sorry that it's not, ah, there you go. Okay. Um, so let's start here. So there's a phase now that um, it's ending, you know. There's a phase that is ending in your life, and it's a negative phase, like a phase of worries of uh, probably financial uh, problems or anxiety. It's coming to an end. and But it's like it's not going to be like overnight. It's going to be a, a, like a come and go. So it's like one day you're feeling real optimistic, the next day not really, and then again very optimistic, and then really not really, and so on. But it's time, you know, to, 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 to fly. It's time to take risks. It's time to go after what you want. It's time to be bold, right? And, you know, to take the world by storm and do wonderful things and follow your own path. But, of course, there are many, many fears and worries right now. It could be because we got the five of pentacles that you're worrying about money. Your situation, your financial situation is going to get better. So we're also reaching the end of the month. So we all get a paycheck. A paycheck? Yes. And um, so, um, but it could be that, you know, there are some worries, you know, a lot of thoughts, a lot of negative thinking. I want to get another card for you. Let me get, where is the deck? Just give me a second. Ah, here. There you go. So I have here another tarot deck. I usually keep one on the side, so if I need further. So I just, sorry. Sorry for that, but I just got the Ace of Cups, if you can recognize it. Um, so there's a lot of healing that's going to take place. I just saw the star as well. So there's healing, there's hope, there's positive energy. We have the Two of Swords. So yeah, you don't know exactly what to do. There's a bit of not being able to recognize the opportunities, but actually with the Ten of Cups, everything is going to be fine. You just don't believe it yet. Because I think like you've had like really bad experiences now in the past or maybe in the last few weeks 
and you kind of don't want to believe your luck or you don't want to believe that things will go better that things will be better in the future but here we have it that you're in control of your own future here with the king of wands and there are opportunities coming your way financial opportunities um, and business opportunities and here we have the emperor so if you're looking for a job you'll probably get a job back of the deck we have the ace of pentacles so yes there are new financial opportunities coming up for you and and i'm doing this because i want you to believe it <laughs> and i just saw the lovers so it's like and that means and funnily enough the lovers with the nine of swords so it's telling us that you actually having a problem about a decision your worries is about a decision and we also have the two of wands twos are always not always but very often a decision between two things right and you can't and you're kind of struggling with the decision and it could be about two jobs it could be even about two partners um you're struggling here about a decision let me see if i get any other information for you yeah you're going to do the right thing it's like you're going to have an epiphany you're going to get an insight and and although the path there is, can be very like exhausting we have bottom of the deck here the ten of uh, pentacles so you're going to make the right decision and it's going to be a decision that's going to be very favorable for your future especially when it comes to financial security so if you are struggling right now your life is going to change so you're going to get the offers that you need you're going to make the right decisions so that you're going to build uh, financial security around you like you're going to build your empire we have the emperor and the ten of pentacles so amazing so don't worry be happy <laughs> really like just like relax a little bit but let's see what the other cards are telling you oh okay so we have number eight indecision we already had that so this is the confirmation so there's really like two paths you can go and then we have the 25 and the seed and this reminds me because it's 25 5 plus 2 is a 7 this reminds me of the seven of cups for instance where it gets so many like propositions uh, so many possibilities and they kind of all of blind you but here with the seat, I think this is something that probably you've experienced um, so in the last couple of weeks for some of you, or you know, it's like someone from your past, and this is like where your fear lies of I, either of being deceived or, or of the, deceiving yourself. So there's some lack of trust here. Yeah, and it could be because of a mother figure doesn't have to be your mother yeah I'm getting the queen of yet yeah, now the queen of swords so again it could be it could be even like um, a boss a female boss for some of you or a female energy like a mother figure again um, something like you know someone betrayed you or you felt betrayed yeah and i'm really really sorry about that but do i have anything else yeah but it's time to move on i just saw the chariot yeah and it's yeah it's a situation at work we have the eight so it could be that it could be a decision about changing jobs or moving even completely away from even from the country and there's something that is difficult yeah but something it's about to end it's really changing your situation completely and finding the right people to work with you know like-minded people yeah and we have here the wheel of fortune so it's about to change and it's changing in a positive way so it's like the cards are telling you don't worry too much everything will be fine okay and that's why i'm taking so many cards for you the others didn't get that don't tell the others please <laughs> because i see that your situation here is a bit shaky and sometimes you know we don't need you don't need me to complicate it even more so what i'm telling you is yeah it's a decision it's not a very uh, easy one there's a lot of uh, 
disappointment and uh, feeling betrayed feelings and uh, but also like a certain kind of loyalty at the same time but this difficult time is ending is what the cards are telling you it's going to get better okay and you're going to make the right decision or you're making the right decision already let's see the last card it's in german okay it says star being healing codes important informations wounds are healed uh, recharging energy so there you go so there's a lot of healing this week okay so you're going to get information this information could be about something not being right and then you being able to correct it or it could be like positive really positive information about getting new offers uh, proposals or propositions um, or both even and uh, and it's like you're going to be able to heal from the past you're going to be able to leave something painful behind you and uh, you know and getting into another path getting into another life it's like a new chance yeah so it, it can seem a bit scary at first it's actually very very positive and at the end of the week you know you'll have a clearer mind now i'm going to get you a love message i'm using my deck so i'll just take three cards from my deck so for pile number three what are the love energies for some of you could also be this could also have to do with um a love relationship because we have here someone else so this decision could be you know leaving your partner or you know leaving a situation behind so for pile number three what are the love energies surrounding pile number three this week for pile number three what are the love energies so we have a burning heart so this is passion so what are the energies surrounding pile number three this week then we have wow will you so maybe this is the decision you have to make saying yes or yes <laughs> so for pile number three what are the love energies surrounding them this week just go with the flow just saying it like relax <laughs> and then we have here um hoping and praying well the feeling that i get is like when it comes to love your prayers are being answered so what seemed to be shaky or difficult or you weren't able to believe it it's going to come true so there's something here really beautiful love passion you know a proposal so earlier i said proposal by mistake but it seems that some of you may be getting a proposal and uh and just go with the flow you know like let things happen let things unfold seems like a happy ending to me yeah and uh and it's something that you didn't seem possible that's why we have here so much um hoping and praying and then we have your new life so there's this really a new life coming for you maybe some of you are pregnant and that's why this oh my god and then we have here happy endings so things are going to be great it's just that the way there you're very very nervous and it seems a bit dark but there's a silver lining just focus on that because that silver lining is going to turn into a beautiful sunrise so pile number three if this was your reading i hope it resonates i hope it inspires you and i wish you a wonderful time full of love and next time i will have better lighting <laughs> thank you bye